Welcome to Let's Play Rule the Ways 3 as Germany, starting in 1935. It's November 1947, and we are heading into our second winter of war. And I'm heading into some major building works, and I'm hoping to get a couple of episodes sneaked in there before I have to dismantle my computer and the rest of my study. If we have a look at what's happening in the fleet deployments, you'll see that in Northern Europe, we're doing pretty well. Five British and French fast battleships and battlecruisers against our four, six fleet carriers against our five. They have four CVLs. I'm actually not that sure where the rest of the CVLs have gone. I've had a look. Um, five heavy cruisers, 10 light cruisers. Uh, light cruisers is, is telling, I think, uh, because they are outreaching us in blockade strength. But really, it's the... Um, British have similar to our blockade strength, and the French add an extra hundred to that. The Italians, with a couple of German cruisers, are completely dominating the Mediterranean Sea. There's an errant battle cruiser from Britain or France in um, West Africa, and there's some light forces versus Japan. The Japans, the Japans, the Japanese have got a battle cruiser in the Indian Ocean now, so they're happily running right. I'm not sure if they are uh, trading that for invasions, but um, yeah, it should all be going fine. If we zoom in, we can see that uh, our finances are doing the best they've done all war so far at only minus 1,600, so that's great. The submarines were just this month building the last four of the coastal submarines. So from next month, it'll be fleet submarines from then on. Uh, everything is repaired. Um, so yeah, the air groups on the carriers are mainly fine. You'll notice our strength is 47, but we actually only have 43. That's, I think, in part because of adjusting for... Um, well, not for these two, but for these two. This is adjusting for jet fighters. For the Zeppelin and the Peter Strasser and the Richthofen, they are all jet capable already. So let's see what battles come up. Well, a cruiser battle. Who can object to a cruiser battle? <laughs> well, the French can for a start. And another one in the Mediterranean. Hmm. So battle size, yeah. Okay, let's 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 see. Oh, and the French declined. And a convoy battle. Everyone loves a convoy battle. They are some of the most exciting. And if I remember rightly, one of the beta improvements has been to improve the performance around convoy battles so that um, they're not quite so maddening. So we have three of our battle cruisers. Okay, one of them's... Oh, and the fourth, for some reason, put into a separate force, even though they don't belong there. Okay. And, and that's it. So no carriers. Well, I mean, that simplifies things. They are expected to arrive with five carriers. Five carriers, no carriers. It's a gentle breeze and partly cloudy. So sounds perfectly pleasant. Um, yeah, locate and attack uh, and sink at least six merchant ships. So we have a main force, but well, we only have a main force. And the heavy cruisers. I'm getting confused. There is indeed Flug 2 and Flug 1. So we have four. Let's accept that and see what happens. The offensive mine lane, I'm not entirely sure they've ever done anything, but we shall see. And let's attack the enemy sh airships in general. That seems like a good thing to do. And here we are. Let me just see the uh, yep, six ships. Okay. So it seems that the heavy cruisers are the flagship. Is that correct? This seems to be a slightly odd way of doing things. Yeah, so nice now seems to be the flagship. So let's change it to the Graf Spey because that feels a little bit more traditional. 
very odd. And I'm just going to go through all of the various roles to make sure that we're not something weird is happening. Okay, let's go through the checklist. It, this all seems sort of fine, except that the uh, battle cruisers were subsumed to support the aircraft carriers, which is a bit odd. So they're now the flagship, and I put them on independent. Ideally, I want them to get into the front, but that's probably not going to be a possibility until uh, we find where the enemy is. The wind is from the southwest, heading northeast. So we will have to turn into the southwest, i.e. towards Britain, to launch our airplanes, which is a bit of a shame. Let's uh, just zoom out and see where that is. So we're right between Norway and the Orkney Isles, uh, the Scarpa Flow base. Uh, here's our target, so at least that's nice and clearly defined. I think ideally I would love my carriers, therefore, to head towards Norway so that when they, um, when they do launching operations, I don't know why that's not letting me pick it, uh, they head towards England and then go back towards Norway, and that would be a good thing. Time of day is the mm, late morning, it's just before midday. Dusk will be at an eye-watering quarter past three in the afternoon. So we have three hours and 20 minutes to play with. Woo! Let's set the speed to ultra fast. The visibility is 28,000 yards. The, and there's the target, by the way, just down in the bottom. Sea flight restrictions. No sea states, no flight restrictions, I believe. Yep, nothing coming up here, which is all good. Um, we've zoomed out, so that's fine. Game speed is fine. Order of battle has been a bit mixed up, but I think we've sorted that out. The battle objective is to find this convoy and sink merchant ships whilst not getting knocked about ourselves. So time for a tiny little bit of scouting. So let me just correct this. Okay, I've done all the air bases. Now, someone said, well, you know, you can do it all you like, but they just go back to automatic next time. So this will be an interesting test. Um, but I've got them covering various arcs that hopefully will be useful. And of course, the uh, the main force itself coming from there. Let's have a look at the strikes that we can do next. So I'm just going to set these to ready. Let's just take the filter up to three, and then go to the second flug, and do the same. And let's ready those to see what comes up. I, uh... Oh, all right. So, strangely, it's put the uh, Peter Strasser off on its own as well. It's not helpful. And let's ready those two. Okay, that's everything as far as we can sorted out. So, battle plan, head towards the target. Sink some merchant ships. I think, um, yeah, that's all we need to really worry about. Set some strikes up, have no targets at the moment. And yeah, let's go and kick this battle off. Annoyingly, I've just discovered that the um, third line and division, the Prince Eugen, is um, under AI control as a support force. Righty ho. So let's just move these on. Let's just say yes to a bit of search planing. And see what we can see. I expect to find something any minute. I mean, that would be nice. Do I have control of the battle cruisers? No. 
I'm gonna have to find somebody before I can get the battle cruisers charging to the front. Some destroyers doing weird destroyery things. And obviously those strikes getting ready. That's all very nice. Aha! There we go. So let's go and max that to say 28 knots and get them to follow. And hopefully the um, whoever it was who's been detached will catch up with them as well. Let's actually just zoom in rather than take that for chance. So that's a Peter Streiser. We will um, make them follow Flug 2 and put them under AI control. And then, oh, the Von der Tan. So yeah, the Von der Tan is supposed to follow behind the, um, the Graf Spey and friends. Uh, so these guys are going down there and doing some launchy things. So that was why that was all happening. Fair enough. The Prince Eugen is just going to be unto a world of its own. And yeah, let's have a look at this strike. I think I'd quite like to, but there are no, no things. We'll have to go by location and say, go and attack these things. I would love them to be carriers. So I'm going to make them into carriers. That's, that's exactly how it works. I'm going to select what's ready and launch them. They're only 30 miles away. So that really can't be uh, that much. Do I coordinate? Um, yes, uh, I will coordinate. But we haven't got much time. So I'm going to have to coordinate by carrier. Let's just coordinate that. That brings them in quarter past one. So let's launch them. And then launch. these guys oh did that launch them as well i didn't intend that never mind so they'll uh, go at about just after one so let's launch them and then confidently we'll leave fluke two in our back pockets and we will select these guys and strike exceeds deck load Blur. Then we will launch those and get the dive bombers to follow on. No, we'll launch those and get the torpedo bombers to follow on. One thing that I did notice is that because um, that's no use. Because the torpedo bombers and dive bombers have taken quite a lot of hits, their quality has gone down. Quite a bit. Let's take this up to the ever popular max minus two and uh, see if we can resolve this lot a little bit better. We'll see if that's going to make um, it harder for the um, battle cruisers to get up there in time. So, actually, let's just look at um, these guys. They are supposed to be supporting the Richthofen. That's great. If we send the Richthofen off, say, to the northeast. Don't know if these guys are going to come up, but obviously they'll then do their uh, launchy thing and go in completely the opposite direction. But that's all going to be fine. These ships are staying up. I was going to say unidentified, but that's interestingly unidentified. So where are we going here? Well, <laughs> I'm going to have a punt and say that, that looks like a convoy to me. So is there any details we can write? So not that you could set your watch by. I mean, armored merchant cruisers, maybe. 
Probably not. Okay, so this is claiming to be heavy cruisers. Now, I wonder... Uh, first of all, I probably want to take uh, the light cruisers out of screen and put them in support in line ahead because I imagine they'll want to be a bit busy and we'll send them east. And likewise, the heavy cruisers will send those east. I'm going to bring them down to 25 because we found them. There's no need to rush around all over the place. And I'd quite like the battle cruisers to be able to catch up. And if we, hmm, I'm going to keep the battle cruisers going in the same direction. I might just take these guys off AI and send them, well, let's send them this way. Uh, and then that way. And then finally that way. Okay, so what have we got? I might have to just, yeah, try and work this out. Okay, this seems to be the jumble of ships. So in green, we have the merchants and armed merchant cruisers and reportedly a corvette uh, with a few up here. In red, we have a battle cruiser a heavy cruiser, another heavy cruiser, a CV, meh, maybe. In blue, we have light cruisers here and here, and then in yellow, we have the ever popular unidentified. So it's definitely the convoy, which is great. Uh, and it's a nice east-west split. So to the west are the merchants, and to the east are the warships. For me, a lot of these yellows probably look like destroyers. Um, merchant ships tend to go in line, but there could be some merchants here as well. But that's, that's my hunch. Okay, so a bit of a mess, but it does mean that we would like our battle cruisers to go that way by which I mean just slightly south of east. And the light cruisers, I think they can go for a little holiday straight southeast to head towards these transports. The Eisenhower probably is fine going east in order to capture the attention of these battleships and heavy cruisers and whatnot, whatever they are. And yeah, let's see, see what we can see. So the heavy cruisers have started their action. Ah, probably should just um, go to these guys and ask for a bit of land-based cap because why not? I mean, you can never have enough land-based cap. I wonder if you can ask them as well. No, you can only have them over one in your force. Uh, okay, they've shot down some people. Let's have a look for any more um, reports of anything. So a CV there. Okay, well, I, I'm fine with that. A BC, yep, that's straight in the money. So yeah, all of these. Uh, fine. So, yep, okay. Oops, let's go back to the log. The carriers. Still ideally, oh, that's the battle cruisers. Those carriers are going down there. The Hidstrasse is following no one at all. Okay. Supposed to be, it's following the, uh, the passive L, so but not. Okay, so let's take them around and scootle them to the north. Right. 
So our radar is out to here, so we can start to see some of the action. Um, I'm going to take these out of screening and put them into support and line ahead. OK, I've organized them. Uh, the Munchen's taken a hit from a heavy cruiser, so probably want to just bring that down. A lot of torpedoes in the water. Very generous. I mean, fine if they do the job. Let's see if we can find some details out of these British ships. So we have a Good Hope. Control, why, oh. 12 10 inch guns. Mm -mm. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Not very heavy armor, but that's, that's a thing. Kante. Six 10 inch guns. Okay. And eight six inch just, you know, on the side. We have a Persian, so just an anti aircraft cruiser. Still saying that's uh, a CV, I doubt it. Another anti aircraft cruiser. And all right, so the reported battleship has become another Bacanti. So three 10 inch uh, heavy cruisers. We have uh, Algier over here. We've uh, dealt with them. Ahem. I say dealt and sunk. So there's nothing untoward or scary. Couple more. Uh, another Algier and a reported heavy cruiser from the French down there. But there are these reports of something bigger. So, um, and, uh, you know, we are shooting down some of their fighters, and sadly vice versa. So let me just filter these reports. Okie dokie, this is interesting. This is a squadron of light cruisers. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to say that's very interesting. So, uh, so the Richthofen, I think it's going to go north. That seems like a, a good direction. And the Peter Strausser is going to go north. And the von Passaval is going to go north as well. Let's do a kind of a whole north fest for the carriers and get them out of the way. So, yeah, we'll need to watch these a lot. I mean, there are a couple of German heavy cruisers here. Maybe we should detach them and uh, go and sort them out. I mean, they're not the biggest boys in the world, five inch guns. And yeah, so they can carry on towards this lot. These conquests, they're five inch as well. And the champion is five inch. So I think too terrifying, but <clears throat> definitely runs the risk of it all going a little bit out of control. So let's carry on with the main action and then kind of memo to self. See if we can't um, do some things. But I want to cross the T here. And then I just want to zoom this out a little bit and see what's happening on that. OK, so they're going in the opposite direction. So turning away is definitely good. We've got planes approaching. Oh, enemy ships. Well, thank you for that message. I thought it was going to tell me what it might be approaching. So that's going there. The heavy cruisers are turning away. So here's some more. Let's see if uh, we can strike something. That's this lot, I'm going to squad max them just to try and get them into action. Just keeping an eye. Uh, okay, torpedo hit. Oh, well, 
Z14 is a very old destroyer. Let's just see if we can see where on earth that is supposed to be. So it's over here. So these guys must have fired some torpedoes. Now that all seems like a very good excuse to run the other way. Yeah. Hmm. As for the Bremen and the Dangzig, let's go run them northwards. There's a lot of moving parts to this game. <laughs> a lot. So, let's see if we've got any planes for a bit of a strike. Uh, I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say heavy. I'm going to say to actually launch the strike down about there. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can get them into the air. And um, teaching these guys a little bit of respect. And then we got these guys. They're actually shooting at them. That, that, hmm. that might be a thing. And then down here in the uh, torpedo forest, we have all this going on. So this is all very close range, 8,000. So I want to take that range out. This all looks fine. Um, somewhat pummeling this uh, alleged Corvette. Actually, it does look like it is a Corvette, in fairness. So that's all fine. If, if these two light cruisers and destroyers can run amok around these uh, ships, they do have the Algier coming up along here. So I need to just watch that. So I'm going to have to move this kind of one at a time. Now, do I need to send the bath cruisers north to protect the carriers? Discuss. Certainly the bath cruisers are engaging. 27,000 yards. Um, otherwise, the um, Corvette is getting a pounding. Some planes going in. I'm going to bring the Bremen round the back. Here are these guys shooting away happily. They're shooting at various people. Where did that Algier go? Whoops. There's the Algier. So let us. Oh, yeah. Targeting the Algier at 12,000 yards. Is that 12,000 yards? No, that's 5,000 yards. All right, so there's another one there. Uh, so, yes. Okay. I'm going to take this under AI control. I've got plenty. Whoops. We've got plenty of uh, torpedoes left, which is fine, and send them in. There is a torpedo, torpedo. there is a destroyer there. Uh, so yes, still opening up that range. Whilst these are, yeah, these are still heading to the battle, to the sound of guns, rather than to the sound of merchant ships. So that's fine. Uh, Munchen has uh, scored 11 hits on a merchant ship, so that's uh, good shooting. So, yeah, that's might just slow down. Oh, there are at 25, so that's okay. Just checking where these carriers are. They all seem to be roughly getting out of danger. This is the poor old Z14. So, that's fine. How many... Two hours. Right. I'm just going to check on the strike situation. So nothing from Flug 1. Flug 2? Yeah, okay. They've got all this ready. Hmm. Now I was keeping that back because carriers. So let me just go back to reports and see if we can see any kind of proper carrier report. Okay, there's this report of uh, 
two battle two battle cruisers, three carriers, and the CVL. No, they are definitely not there. So we can delete them. Let's go to this one. So this is quite old, and they're in the middle of. Hmm. Okay, so I mean that is a possibility from Bergen. They've been wrong before. Let's go to this one. Okay, so this also seems very wrong for all of that. So we can delete that with confidence. Two battle cruisers there? No. Also, they'd be up here by now. So, um, yeah, I probably just need to check just in case, you know, I've had battles where. There's a battle cruiser reported by some people, and you look, and there's absolutely not one there. And then it's like, oh, where the heck did that come from? So let's delete that. We don't really have to worry particularly about that. So, yeah, uh, these are all just heavy cruisers. This could be, I mean, here and here. There could be something there. So they are all, oops, uh, take that one off. So again, one, two, three. Now, should be here, but I mean, equally could be going up there. So it's just, I'm rather doubting that one is true. And that one. That one, so, I mean, that was a while ago. So, whoops, there definitely could be something just off in this direction. I'm not sure just yet. Let's just have a close inspection of what's happening here. Okay, this is what we've got. So the reds are heavy cruisers, these 10 inches. Nice, I mean, I, I wish I had some nice 10 inch heavy cruisers. The blues are light cruisers, four around there, and a fifth French one down here. The yellows are transports, and the greens are all destroyers. So that's what's happening over on this side, the warship side. And then if we zoom over here, we have almost all merchant ships, a smashed to pieces corvette, this French light cruiser, and this French destroyer, but the rest is up for grabs. So here you can see lots of lovely targets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen merchant ships. This cruiser, this destroyer, this wrecked corvette, cruiser over here, and some destroyery nonsense. Oh, actually, and another, another cruiser up there. What the word? Right, so let's take it gently, one minute at a time. Okay, I think we're hitting a merchant ship. I think that's probably a good thing. Obviously the main issue here is the Algiers. So let's head, oh, somebody's been completely sunk there, which is nice. So I'm going to head north, northish, for the Algier, and I'm going to send the Munchen and its chum directly towards the French destroyer there. They're still going at a relatively sedate pace in order to make sure that we don't miss anything with, uh, with that lot. Meanwhile, up here, we've extended the range out from the destroyer, uh, the cruisers to about 11,000 yards, which is, you know, a little bit more respectable. Um, we have these guys who are deflecting these cruisers to the north, but actually I would quite like them to take some interest in this force and come in behind Scharnhorst and Neisnau. These guys, let's bring them around a little bit. These are zooming away. And in fact, these three carrier groups are kind of coming together. 
So that all seems fine. And we're just holding fire for these reports, vague, vague reports of potentially a carrier there. Now, it may well not be the case. Uh, okay, so the armed merchant cruiser has fired three mediums and has uh, walloped the munchen. So we probably need to just pop in here and see if we can uh, sort that one out. So let's turn in. Königsberg should be flattening this. Um, hopefully. The Algiers seems to be running away, which is a good thing. So I'm happy with that. This great big ma confused mass of things. I mean, we're shooting. Let me just see what our um, hit chances are. They're not great. We seem to be shooting at light cruisers. So let's just straighten that out slightly. Still these guys shooting to the north. Uh, which is fine. Getting some hits on that arm merchant cruiser. Uh, let me just go back to the munchen. So one hit and two light hits. So just a tiddly little bit of Rotation damage, but that's fine. So they all seem in good spirits. More torpedoes. There goes the armed merchant cruiser. Really, you shouldn't stick guns onto something as fragile as that. So that's got that one out of the way. So there is just this destroyer right there. And this cruiser, hello. Okay, so let's bring these guys down to see if we can cross the T of this cruiser. So then now there are the two cruisers. Okay. Um, someone merchant ship hit by stuff. Breslau critical hit. Oh dear, let's go and see what's happened to the poor Breslau. Is that this lot or is that in the... Yes, it is. So let's just see. Two medium hits. Uh, machinery disabled. Hmm. So it may well, although it's not very, very damaged, it's annoyingly damaged. So it may lose speed and have to be detached. These guys are charging all over the place. The, uh, and some Yonkers approaching enemy ships. So much going on. So, mm -hmm. Let's just go and see what's happening with these northern ones. So. First of all, the Breslau and stuff, they all seem to be fine. And then up here, well, we started paying attention to that. Uh, I'm going to bring the Bremen uh, to the south. We'll take the little Z14 to the north just to clear the area. These guys all seem to be coming together, which is nice. I'll just turn the uh, von der Richthofen. Uh, little, a little tiny hit from a destroyer on the nice now. Oh, yes. Let's bring these destroyers who seem to be very now close to a good hope and to the Picantes. Great if they could um, do some stuff. We zoom in. I think we have, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I think, oh, seven. I think we're very close to um, eight. To achieving our aim. 
which is nice. And yeah, let's straighten up the light cruisers to bring the rear turrets into firing arc. They, uh, they all seem to want to go away. Uh, let's see how many torpedoes these guys have. So some of them still have some, which is nice. I don't know where they're going. <laughs> let's see if we can torpedo ourselves. Let's not. So I'm going to wing around and gather ourselves up. Right. Do I want this final strike adjusted? Uh, so there's the final strike, and I think that's the light cruisers that we were really aiming for. So I'm going to say hell yes, and just put it ever so slightly in front of those guys. They're coming down. Is that their max? They're actually slightly reduced speed. What time is it now? hour and 55 minutes. So here come the big boys and they are firing at 17,000 yards. So we just want them to be able to bring all of their turrets to bear and probably, okay, more uh, merchant ship destruction. Okay, let's push it on another little minute. So, yes, I'm happy with the battle cruisers, even if the von der Turn is lagging ever so slightly. I mean, given the absence, these destroyers are heavily engaged all over the place. Let's just see. Yeah, they've fired off a couple more torpedoes. That's these guys are engaging the Algier and the destroyers, of which there are several more now, which is all fine. Not liking these uh, torpedoes chasing my light cruisers, so I'm just going to move them in ever so slightly more. Because that would be embarrassing, wouldn't it? Uh, so that's all fine. These guys, guys now at L. They are at 10,000 yards. I mean, it's pretty close. Pretty amazing they haven't been hit. I mean, you know, touch wood, obviously. I probably shouldn't say things like that. We've got two destroyer divisions slightly disorganized to the north of the heavy cruisers. I'm going to treat them as a reserve at the moment. Um, and then, yeah, here are these two light cruisers vaguely being chased. By the Bremen and stuff. So one of the Algiers has been hit by a torpedo. Very well done. And the medium one as well. So is it? And that. So possibly this Algiers medium damage that would make sense as much as you can trust damage reports. Let me just, yep, they've still got a couple and are doing valiant service. Well done, guys. Uh, we really don't need these to pummel this lot. I think we would prefer them if they were having a go at maybe them. <laughs> it's just an idea. I know we're supposed to sink the merchant ships. Um, you know, that's already stationary, and another one's hit by a torpedo. This is all to the good. These torpedoes are going off instantly into space, which is the kind of place I prefer them to go. Uh, some stuff against that, which is great. This is looks like a destroyer division in a screening formation that's not screening anybody. Need to be careful of uh, these usks. They're quite close, but I'm happy that that lot are doing some good there. And the Von der Tan is uh, joining in the fun. So yeah, lots of Algiers hits. 
that's all good. These guys, yep, they're coming in from around that direction. So that all seems fine. The Bremen and Dang Zig is still chasing. But they, uh, their maximum speed is down for some reason. Hmm, 26. It's only a 27er at the best of times. Never mind. And the carriers are all safe and, uh, and very snuggled up together. So that's, that's fine. So let's ask the Peter Strausser whether it's going to go with the Passaval and get the Passaval to see if it will go with the, um, with the Richthofen. Actually, just go back to the Strausser and make it a core rather than a support. And then that just leaves us with the merry old Don Richthofen. And if we take that in a north westerly direction, that'll be fine. Time of day, one hour and 55 minutes. So again, probably time to have a little bit of a look around strikes. So Fluke 1 is a no. Fluke 2, still waiting, still waiting for anything big. And the uh, Peter Strausser is a no as well. It does have some torpedo bombers. They are ready. I mean, could just launch them at uh, these guys. Or indeed, I could send them into this whole stinky mess. Uh, because I'm not really seeing anything. So coordinated. Doesn't really matter. They'll be there for um, two o'clock. So, and it is one twenty. It seems quite long for only being forty miles away. But anyhow, let's let's launch those torpedo bombers and give them a bit of sport. Back to the reports and these mythical carriers. So there's that one there, which I don't believe. There's this one there, which I certainly don't believe. You see, that's, you know, a carrier. No, we, we could see that. Uh, yes, we know about them. That's fine. Yes, doesn't seem to be. And here, yep, that doesn't definitely, <laughs> I think we'd have spotted that by now. But that's a no. This one. Could be, but you know, it's 20 past one. This was nearly an hour ago. And that's nearly an hour ago. And that is an hour ago. So yeah, I don't care about that. And yeah, that was a long, long time ago. So yeah, still these three, possibly. But if I put the um, thing in, they're all within the range. I want to get rid of them all, and then I'm going to go back and have a little look at scouting and see whether we can scout around here and bring up some definitive information. By the way, this does look like the kinds of patterns that I put in, so it looks like it didn't go under AI control. Let's just see. Yeah, that's still covering the channel. So no, once you set them, they, they seem to stay set, which is which is nice. Yep, that's only doing that. All right. So that's what's happening here. So I think we'll just want to adjust these and just bring them in. So 200 miles from Bergen and Again, here, and maybe Trondheim. Now we keep Trondheim there. Oops, there's a, there's a dusk line, not, not too far advanced. So, 
I'm going to give that a few minutes. Oh, what about our own search? Yes. So let's just bring this in. So that's way too many. Let's just go for a hundred and then let's bring this around hmm, there. It's tricky because the planes are going to fly from here. So, and then let's bring this lot in because it's really in that kind of direction. And let's click OK. Now, with an overwhelming superiority, you have to think that we have an excellent chance of um, doing some naughty things here. So these guys have just uh, turned, so I'm kind of minded to turn with them and comb any nasty dust that they may have um, put into the water there. Some hits going on with the Algin. So, yep, this one over here. So three against one, you'd hope that's going to sort something out. Yep, there's this one too. There's these boys. Uh, still with a few torpedoes left. Enemy aircraft approaching the Graf Bay. So, hits on the Conquest and the Algier. The Destroyer, hit on the Neisner and the Blucher and the Scharnhorst. That all comes from Bricante cruisers. So they're firing it at us. They think that's the important thing to do. Um, and then just three enemy fighters strafing the Blucher. Up in the north, I'm going to take this lot they're not doing anything and they've got torpedoes and they're going in the wrong direction uh, so yeah let's turn them that way uh, up here they're still heading that way we're still giving them poor chase so that all seems fine and the carriers are heading into the wind i'm fine with that for the moment uh, who's this? That's the Prince Eugen, who are under, the, who are supporting through the medium of going in completely a crazy wrong direction. So let's just carry on, beetling down with that lot and sandwiching them there. Okay, these guys have taken a bit of a pasting. So I think it's time for them to sign off and, you know, well done. Everything else is looking okay. Let's go back to the log. So yeah, oh, bang, 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 bang. And yeah, that's borderline bullying really. Still heading straight in with these. They are moving out, so I'm going to take the turn together off and I'm going to bring the Graf Spey to the south and I'm going to take the Wunder turn. Um, well, you know, yes, I'm going to take it off AI control and bring that to the south as well. Uh, I just turn these together just to get them out of the way more quickly. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it looks like, maybe I've missed it, but it looks like we should have achieved our end, which is nice. We've got some French destroyers there. Um, uh, I'm going to turn and turn again. Uh, yep, let's chase them away and then go towards these merchant ships. And, yep. Shooting at these Bacantes in good hopes is a good thing. And off in the distance here, we have the Neisenauer. I mean, they're only um, 13, 12,000 yards away, which is fair enough. These guys 
coming along perfectly well. These guys probably out of screen, into support, and into line ahead. Only two of them, but we might as well utilize them more effectively. That's poor old Z14. Well, stay out of harm's way. Carriers are all looking carrier-ish and fine. Time is what? So keep on at it. Let's bring the Vondertan to the south. Or do we take it to the east actually, and then it can tag on behind the uh, Rijksgraaf. There we go, boom. Oh yes, I was going to look at the time, one hour and 40. Okay, we're nearly up to an hour on this episode, which is longer than I thought it was going to take. There is every opportunity for a big victory in the hour and 40. Um, it has been difficult because obviously the carriers need to stay safe. These annoying cruisers up here, which uh, are nearly catching on. We might need the Vondertan actually to turn their attention to these cruisers and get them to show a little bit of respect. Uh, heavy cruisers are up here. The British heavy cruisers and their light cruising friends are at risk. The guys here are only 11,000 yards. I probably want to pull these away and <laughs> letting them get too close. Uh, the light cruisers are doing a great job down here. Uh, ammo is looking fine, so that's great. And I think to do it justice, this confusing battle, we really need to uh, take a break and come back to it and, uh, yeah, see what's going to happen. Could be a bit of a crushing victory. But, honestly, is there something around here? Who knows? Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.